Hello, good, uh, good evening. <laughs> good evening, guys. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, guys. Jeffrey, Evelyn, Jenny, Emma, Leonardo, yeah. how are you doing? Hello. How's everything? How was your how was your weekend? Everything good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that, Emma. Thank you so much for answering. My weekend was good, so thank you so much for asking, guys. <laughs> Hey, yeah, so how, let's see, we're going to start this session and um, we are in our last week of this course. I really hope everyone is working on section number five, okay? So welcome, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. Um, we are going to start with our first, uh, let's see slide here let me start sharing the screen and today we have uh, like i said section number five and if you already finished this section it's totally okay and if you are just starting this section it's also okay because at this time i don't know if you have received any uh, reminder about this because you need to be working on the last section okay so it is mandatory for you to uh, pass this level to be at least uh, on 80% you know, uh, completion. So uh, let me start sharing. Let's see on session number 13. Give me just a second. Here we go. Okay, well, this is section number 13. And today we're going to discuss about um, one topic which I consider has a lot to, has a lot to, um, to give because it's a construction that we use regularly in our daily basis, okay? Can I please have one volunteer to read today's topic? Only one, just read it, please. Welcome to today's topics by one conversation is I found 760 million dollars. Okay, thank you so much. Appreciate your participation. Yes, if I found, imagine if you buy 700 uh, fifty thousand uh, dollars what would you do just think about this well this type of constructions is the ones we are going to be studying okay so i need a, a second participation uh for you to read this objective okay let's see who wants to do it i can see we are connected 12 so just one please On it, really. Last, you will listen to a conversation. In this class, you will listen to a conversation where unreal conditional sentence with if clauses are used in context. Thank you so much, Evelyn. Appreciate it. Yeah, so unreal conditional, right? This is the topic for today. And well, and we also need to talk about if clauses. We have already talked, we have already discussed that a clause is a, is a sentence, right? It can be a simple sentence which has one subject and one verb, right? And today we're gonna study a little bit further this topic. And my first uh, question is the following. It has to do with what you already read. I want you to ask and answer. This is based on the video. I'm gonna give you two minutes for you to create an answer, but explain, okay? Uh, provide as much as, provide details as much as possible, okay? The question is, what would you do if you found lots of money? 
Please think about it and I want to hear your um, sentences. Maybe you want to give me one like response, uh, like for real, right? What will you do? And then maybe you can give me another or a second answer with something that you consider uh, it might not be appropriate, but you would still like to do it, okay? So let's uh, see the first answer. Like for real, like considering your condition at this moment, what will you do if you find lots of money? And then the second uh, option is, what will you do, okay? Uh, something that you know might not that be that appropriate to do it, but then you want to do it just for fun or anything like that, okay? Because there are two situations. One, like when you start thinking things twice and you say, no, this is what I would do because this would be the correct thing to do. But then there's another uh, you which might be thinking about um, doing something different that might not be in benefits of yourself or of others, like in greater amount. So I will give you one minute, you know, think about these answers and then you will provide, you know, uh, those ideas to the whole class, right? Maybe you wanna write some ideas down so you can share. So welcome guys, I can see now we are 13 plus me, 14 participants on this session and I would love to hear everyone to hear on this answer. Okay, now that I have given you some time, I want to hear everyone. Um, so let's do it this way. I'm going to ask someone and the person who answers me is going to ask the next person until the very last one will ask me, okay? So we're gonna make like a whole, a round trip, okay? So let me start asking and I would love to hear Emma. What would you do, Emma, if you found lots of money? First answer, um, for real, something, you know, I said appropriate. I mean, there might be other ways to describe it, but tell me, Emma, what's your answer for this question? Well, if I found lots of money, I'd call the police because I think that's necessary. Maybe, Someone is look at me and can say that I'm trying to be someone that is still that money. And that's why I think the best option for real is to call the police. That is that is the good Emma. <laughs> okay, how about your other side? What, what will you do? Or don't you have another opinion about this, this um, question, Emma? Maybe just- Well, uh -huh. my maybe bad idea about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. If I don't, if I, yes, if I don't call the police, I buy some things for my dog, like, a lot of food and chicken because he loves chicken and maybe buy some things like um, think, things about aviation like little airplanes because 
I like that and I would like to have one and I know that is so expensive. <laughs> and if I found that money, it will be a good thing. I know it's bad, but by the way, I would like to have many things and that's all. all. Right, thank you so much. It makes sense. So you say a little airplane, right? <laughs> All right, thank you so much. It's still, you know, acceptable <laughs> because uh, the money is for something that you would like to have, and that because uh, I think you you would love to be a pilot or not. But what's your expectation? Any plans, or are you studying anything about that or related? I'm sorry, I'm an aeronautic engineer, but I would like to be a pilot. By the way, I. I see. Have to, I hope to be a good engineer. You will, no doubt, okay? So thank you so much. And then uh, now it's your turn to choose the next person. We have 15 people connected. Just say a name, please. Okay. I will ask Reina. Okay, Reina, tell me, if you found a lot of money, what would you do? Uh, well, to be honest, I will keep it because uh, when you found money in the street, for example, you will know who, who are the monies. So I will keep it. Thank you so much. Reina, you will keep it. And what will you do with the money? I don't think you, or would you just keep it and that's it? No, probably I will buy something like clothes or something like that, or probably the same that Emma said. So do I you have? Record. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have the same like I, I don't know maybe goals you wanna? Are you studying anything related to um, I don't know maybe um, what these um, airlines or what aircrafts? stuff related or yeah yeah are you okay yes i'm a study aeronautical engineer like emma actually we are partners <laughs> oh i can see that's why she's telling you okay interesting good i'm, I'm glad to hear that nice mm -hmm. interesting what about uh, the next person who would you like to listen to uh let me see the participants um, Gustavo, Gustavo Coreas. Hello. Hi, Gustavo. What would you do if you found lots of money? Oof. Well, it depends. It depends. It depends the place. For example, if I found at uh, I don't know Metro Center, for example. I'm sure I have to go to the police and say, hey, I found that, I found this, and I want to return because there are cameras that are well watching me. But if I found in a lonely place, maybe uh, at first I will think to call the police, but I have to to think about it. Uh, for the for the bad side, maybe I keep it for a time. If nobody say nothing, if the, if the news doesn't appear about somebody that lost his money, well, I think in and, and spend some or invest some because thinking in the bad side, maybe it's a uh, it's money from drugs. If it, if I keep it, there is no more drug for this money. So it could be a good thing, <laughs> but it depends. It's, it's really interesting, you know, your position. It depends, right? It depends where you found it. It's, it depends. Um, maybe on what you plan to do with this money. 
And if you see it that way, if this money comes from drugs, then you are helping. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. You then, think <laughs> if you think, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, this money is from drugs. If I keep it, uh, they they can buy buy more drugs to sell. Maybe I think I don't know. Exactly. Hey, um, you know, this is really interesting. You just reminded me about this person. A friend of mine told me that one of uh, his friends found he lives by by the sea, right? By uh, and basically, uh, I think by Puerto Acajutla in that area, you know. And this is the thing. This person is now my friend. Is my friend's friend. He found a pack of of I don't know how many kilos of of drugs and then he found this bag and I don't know how many I'm being honest but he's he he, he told he told me that this guy is, is like an old man already he, he kept this drug and then he was waiting like the news or anybody to say something about this but then after a couple of months nobody said anything and he sold all this drug <laughs> And he made a lot of money out of this. Of course, it's illegal, right? But then he played, he played, I mean, he risked it. And he bought like two cars, two like trucks from this money. And, and he, started off, he started off a business restaurant. And now this guy, it's a real story. This guy has like, I don't know, like three or, or four restaurants and many cars. He has higher employees and all that. And you will say, wow, after this incident, everything changed. I don't know if that <clears> was something for him, you know, or, or I mean, he really risked it because it might be the other way around, right? If you start selling and they, the police catch you, you are in trouble. But then this guy, after he was already settled down, he had everything, you know, uh, his business running and he was established, he could tell this story to some of his close friends. But he, he never, you know, uh, told this to the police, of course, right? But then my point here is that some, sometimes, you know, uh, you might find uh, one thing or it might be your luck that you get it. And if you are smart <laughs> or maybe bold, right, you're brave enough to, to make decisions that can change your life. So it's interesting. This is a real story that I'm telling you about. And that's, that's but, interesting. It is. Now he's like, I, I see this guy. Uh, he's not my friend. He's just my friend's friend. And he's like driving like, wow, I really like fancy and luxurious, let's say, like a uh, car. And I'm like, you know, how life change? Like, uh, but, but because he was, he was really smart. You see? Yeah. And Maybe it's not, cor it's not what's the correct, but who can say what it exactly the portrait mm -hmm. exactly i think is uh i mean i mean the money uh came from something illegal right yeah and then i don't i don't know i don't know guys i want you to talk to me but when i see the news and i see it that the president says uh, we have burned these many uh, kilos of droughts that we confiscated at any point, right? And I see the videos where they are burning these drugs and I think just, you know, uh, for me, it's, it's fake. I don't believe it because if, uh, it's, if it is a lot of drug, why would they just burn it out? Why don't they sell it? Or what do you think? Do you think it's for real that they do this? What's your, what's your opinion? Anybody? Do you agree or disagree with this type of things? Or you, do you believe? Have you seen this on the news or maybe I think the president posts videos? Uh, yes, I saw it. It, it. In my opinion, there are fake. I guess that mm -hmm. if you have a, those kind of things, you won't burn that because you know that it's money. And exactly. everyone wants money. Exactly. I agree with that. Is there any other opinion, guys? Because we need to move on. I would like to, I would love to hear your opinion. It's just a way of practicing as well. 
completely real on your own opinion or just you know talk to me and give me you know your perception about these things i said i wanted to hear everyone but i think i'm going to give you some more time because we have some other questions about the same the same topic before i move on uh, i want you to please pay attention to this uh, we have here guys wood wood and then we have because i was listening to your opinions and some of you did apply this wood plus are very in the base form right this is one clause and in the second clause or the if clause we have simple past this is really necessary so we don't um let's say change the structure because if we change the structure then the idea might not be transmitted as it should be so this is considered second conditional. Second conditional. In English, we have four conditionals. Zero, first conditional, second, and third conditional. This one, I'm just, uh, we're just reviewing or maybe learning if you didn't know about this. In case you knew it, we're just reviewing. It's second conditional. The, the formula is would plus the base form of the verb. And in the if clause, we need to have if plus simple pass. I haven't gone deeper on this yet, but I would love to hear any example if you know about this, or if you can create any other question with the same format, the same structure, open your mic and, uh, and participate, please. Or maybe you want to just go ahead and send me a message on the chat so I can see your example. I haven't gone deeper on this topic, but I'm pretty sure you guys know something about it. I'll give you two minutes and tell me. Uh -huh. Jeffrey, thank you so much. Teacher, I have a question, but with this sentence, uh, I don't know the, why you use the letter S on lot. Oh. Where, Mm -hmm. Right. That's a good question, Jeffer. Uh, we can say lots of or a lot of. Okay. Lots of is, or we can say a lot, a lot, like this, without this, a lot of. So if you say lots of, it's fine. And then, or you can say, you can say either, either this, or this, okay? But then um, the in meaning, they're very similar. Lots of money or a lot of money. So you don't say the S if you are using the letter A because it, that'll be a mistake because the expression itself is lots of. Lots of, lots of, or a lot of. That's the way it works. Um, at the end, in meaning, very similar, you know? And... I don't know if this helps a little bit. How have you seen it? Jeffer, in the in other examples, maybe. Uh, the lot of and in my case I have only seen a lot of uh, but I don't know the meaning of lots of the I think the but you say that is the mean the similar meaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Similar meaning. And then yes, because sometimes you say a lot of, sometimes a lot of stuff. And then I'm thinking about that it might also be related with uh, countable and uncountable nouns. But I, I was thinking about it before I tell you this because I sometimes I say I need a lot of money, and then I'm saying a lot of money, but and then lots of money. So um, that's why I don't want to say is it has to do with, with account and account nouns, okay? I will need to double check that. But what I'm really sure about it is that they're, they're similar. That's for sure. Similar, um, you know, even I would say that they might be synonyms. But then uh, what I'm sure is that if you say ah, uh, you don't say s. That's, that's for sure. Lots of money. And then, um, so let's do this. Let's take a look at this if it has to do with uh, count or non-count nouns 
And we talk about this tomorrow, okay? So you do your homework, I'll do my homework. Because I believe it has to do with, with, uh, with uh, count and uncount. But then in meaning they're, they're similar, that's for sure. Um, now, um, what else? What about if you help me to create one sentence or question using this structure, guys? Maybe based on your experience, based on your, um, I don't know, ideas, tell me one sentence or question. Uh, we need to use the will or we can use will? Mm, it has to be would because will is first conditional. Will mm. is first conditional. Teacher, we can use could. That's a really good question. I like it. Actually, you can use could because most of the time the formula says that you can use um, modal verbs. But then the suggested one, being honest, is would because would is for second conditional or unreal conditionals, okay? It's still, um, if you use could, since it's in the same category of modal verbs, you know, it makes sense. Can you give me an example with could? I wanna hear it. Mm. If I practice my vocabulary, I could improve my English. Yeah, I like it. If I, if I practice, I practice is the past, right? I could, yes. exactly. And you know, I like this because, uh, and it makes sense because could sometimes is used for abilities. And English is an ability that you are describing, so it makes sense. Um, so it's a good one. Jeffrey, I just found something about lost of and lot of, and they say that one is a little bit more formal and informal. So it, it has to do with, informa with formality as well. So that will check on that, but then they're similar. All right, so let's see some other uh, examples. I heard someone else explain quantifiers. Oh, okay. Can you explain a little bit? Um, actually, all of them are quantifiers because a quantifier, Jose, um, as you said it, they, they, they basically measure or denotate amount of something. And loss of is, of course, a quantifier. We have little, we have a few, we have, um, let's say, little, a few, and then they have to do with, with count or non-count, loss of, quite, um, and there are, there are other ones, yeah. And then they're quantifiers. So if it is a quantifier, after a quantifier, you, you have to have one noun, which is basically specifying how much of this is or how many of these are. Yes, I like, I like that contribution because it is a quantifier. Uh-huh, all right, good. You see, you're bringing more things. That's what I like to, to hear. And to see, maybe we can think of some other examples using lost stuff and lot of and other quantifiers, which is a good topic. And based on my experience, when we talk about quantifiers, we have one pyramid, okay? There's, there are some, some differences between saying little, a little, few, or just few, but then that's another topic. That's quantifiers topic. So good. Thank you so much for, for that idea. Anybody else with this same uh, structure or if it is so easy, just give me like, say maybe teacher this topic, we know it already so we can move on. But then I still would love to hear some other participation. We are 16 connected now. Anybody else think about the structure? Teacher. Uh -huh. It's, it's correct. Is I found lot of man, lot of money, I will travel around the world. Of course, it's a good one. Mm -hmm. How do how do you say? Um, si no tuviera que recibir clase, yo estaría cenando, o yo estaría no sé, viendo novela o viendo la película. Because I'm thinking about you know these possible scenarios which are unreal. Why? Because you are here with me. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I do have time and enough money. Uh -huh. Look at Reina, if I went to, to the Bad Bunny's concert, 
I will be more, yeah, for real right now. Are you for sure? <laughs> that money, buy food, go around our country and give the money, I mean, give the food to, to people in need and <laughs> don't go to that concert. <laughs> he, well, I know, just an opinion. All right, uh, but that one is good because you are using the structure. Jefferson. Teacher, every time you have to use vouch word uh, if and will. It's, it's a question. Every time you have to use will because, for example, I think uh, you have to reply for, with start with if and then use uh, in the structure use would but my question is is if you have to use every time about well that's a good question let me start by saying this first use if when it is a condition okay a condition a condition it has uh, one result one consequence okay this is the condition this is the result now, if you use if, you don't have to necessarily use would on the second condition uh, because we have said that we have four conditionals, okay? So for example, if you say, uh, how, how do you say, uh, let's say, si como bastante voy engordare? That is first condition. If I eat present a lot, I will get fat, I will get fat, you see? I'm using if I eat, I will get fat. So basically it's simple, present, and then we have future. Like that, if I eat, that's the condition. Second condition, I will get fat. So my suggestion, Jefferson, is to go over maybe a conditional structure. So from zero, which is present, present. Uh, and then we have first condition, which is uh, present, future. Then we have third condition, well, then we have second condition, which is the one we are studying at this moment, which is a uh, simple past plus would and the very in, the, in its base form. This is the one we are talking about now. And we still need to talk about third condition, which is, which is in the next topics on this week. Okay, that, that will be third condition. Now, um, that's one thing. Maybe uh, if I understood correctly, when you use would, not necessarily you have to use if, because would is a modal verb that can be used without setting a condition. For example, would you like to receive classes tomorrow? I'm not using if there because this is not a condition, okay? So basically, would can be used as a separate topic or as a separate structure. But then if you wanna say a condition, which is very common, then you wanna use if plus would if it is an unreal something, an unreal condition, something that is not going to happen, something that it, it is not possible due to other circumstances, okay? Um, I like the example you have shared because it's not only the verb found, you can say like, like Rena, if I went. That's why I ask you, how would you say, si no tuviera que recibir clases, estaría, Estaría feliz o no sé qué, o estaría triste. So how do you say that? This is second condition. Tell me, any, how would you say that? If I was, if I was uh, 12 years younger, I, I would come back. <laughs> High school, high school is one of the best um, stages of our life. I am working with, with high school, like during the day, that's, that's what I do. I teach high school students, but they don't notice, they don't realize about this. And I try to make them you know, aware that this is a nice uh, stage of their life, but they don't, they don't see it that way. Um, Melissa, a suggestion, when we, when we use um, I, we use where only in this scenario, if it's I true. wear. Uh-huh. Okay. Sorry. No problem. Tell me. Only for, only for unreal situation. Yeah, yeah, only here, only here. Where is more like uh, 
accepted, that is suggested. And this is really strange, as you might say, because we have learned that we use uh, was with I, but here is recommended to say where, not was. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So I don't know if I don't have examples on the chat because it's too easy or, it, or because it's confusing. I would love to have examples here so that tells me that you understand. But if you don't want to type, I will respect that. But I still want you to send on the chat at least um, that you understand. For example, if you understand this topic, send maybe um, say uh, clear, that's it. And then I will understand that everything is clear on this topic. We haven't uh, seen you know, many, uh, we haven't seen uh, structures yet on a conversation, but I want to, here, how we are doing so far on this topic. Okay, thank you so much, Gustavo. Gustavo says it's clear for him. Reina is clear, Melissa is clear. I love it, Giovanni, Jenny, then boom, nice, I'm, I'm, I'm the one, I love it. Thank you so much. And the one who didn't send, one, two, three, four, four people say, say it's clear, five, Wendy, okay, Melissa, okay, nice, which is really cool. Uh, so, uh, and then, well, I'm glad. So you didn't want to send me, you didn't want to translate what I asked you to translate, right? You know, tuviera que How would you say, si no, si no, no tendría, no tuviera que trabajar, saldría todo el fin de semana a la playa. How would you say that? Just open your mic and yes. uh -huh. Go ahead, please. Is I have to go? Si no tuviera que trabajar, me iría de parranda toda la semana para el pital, no, ahí, para la playa. I guess that it will be if I didn't have to work, I will go to the beach all the weekend. <coughs> You are correct, exactly, that's the way. Good, that tells me that is clear. Um, nice. The reason that I asked- I have, If I have to work, hmm? if, if I have to work, I will go to the beach. Hmm. But if I, if I have to work, then, uh, then it, I understand you are saying the structure correctly, but it still it wouldn't make sense because if you, if you translate that, it'll be si tuviera que trabajar iría a la playa. Then it's kind of like I that's, have. Uh -huh. That's why uh, what, uh, it's negative. Yes, I have. It's not having. It's didn't because it's simple past. Didn't. If I didn't like Reina's example, and then uh, Jose, no. no, no hadn't. It's didn't. <laughs> Teacher. I don't have work, but I can go party to the party or to the beach. Uh -huh. Right. <laughs> we can we can we can plan it. <laughs> Yo recuerdo que así hicimos la última vez con el último grupo, nunca nos reunimos. You know. All right. So the thing is this yeah. simple past plus would plus base form. Okay. Así que don't forget that hare no sería en ese scenario, es didn't, and what I'm asking you to translate. All right, now let's take a look at this and then we're gonna go over some other example. I'm going to share because this is the question you guys are going to answer based on the video. So what would uh, Phil do if he found $750,000? Okay, that's different. Let me share the screen, listen to the, to the conversation they have, and then you give me the answer. Here we go.
guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. ...of money. Listen to the conversation and find out what these two people would do. If I found $750,000, part A, listen and practice. Look at this. Some guy found $750,000. He returned it, and the owner simply thanked him with a phone call. You're kidding. If I found $750,000, I wouldn't return it so fast. Why? What would you do? Well, I'd go straight to the mall and spend it. I could buy lots of nice clothes and jewelry. Someone might also find out about it, and then you could go to jail. Hmm, you've got a point there. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? So, what would you do if you found $750,000? Oh, you know me, Pat. I'm so honest, I scare myself sometimes. I'd take the money straight to the police. I guess that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Maybe you'd be luckier than the guy in the article. Maybe the owner of the money would give you a big reward. Well, they say honesty pays, right? Tell us, what would you really do if you found a wallet full of money? What <coughs> Okay, so that's the conversation. What would Phil do if he found $750,000? Guys, what did the conversation say, anybody? What's the answer? Mm -hmm. What would Phil do if he found 750,000? Angie, did you hear the answer? No, clearly. Not clearly. What did you hear? No. Mm -hmm. uh, only the first conversation when, okay. when she said she, she keep all the money and he said, um, only the first part when, when he say uh, she have to return the money because the police maybe can find her and can go to the jail. Exactly, I can see. All right, uh, what about then in the second part, guys? Anybody got the answer? And do you agree that honesty pays off, like the honest pays when you are really honest? But what's your, your perception about this? Give me the answer and then give me your opinion about honesty if, it, if you think uh, it pays, you know, off. Okay, I found that if Phil found the money, he returned the money with the police. Why, I mean, why would he do it? What did he say on the... Um, on the conversation what's the reason he would do this what because did he say he is honest he's honest okay and he says something else he says that he sometimes honest paid uh -huh. he's sometimes but he scares yeah. himself right okay and then uh Take a look at this. We have some other ideas, guys. Let's move on because of time. And this is suggested on the video. Let's talk using the same formula. Okay, now the ones who haven't participated. Hay algunos que no me han comentado. No sé si se entendió. Como cinco dijeron que sí. The next one. Um, so I don't know if it's clear or you don't want to participate. So this time, please talk to me or talk to the class. What will you really do? If you found a wallet full of money, imagine. Well, while you are thinking, let me tell you that um, once we were um, on the bus, you know, that was like, oof, maybe I was, I was a kid, like more than 20 years ago. 
And then we found this wallet on, on, the, on the bus seat. You know, it was a wallet, but it had, I don't remember how much money, but, but it was, you know, let's say a decent amount. And then I found it and I told my, my father, you know, there's a wallet and we, he picked it up and he, he kept it and he started checking and he had a lot of money, right? But then after like a couple of minutes later, there was a lady crying a lot and saying, please help me to find my wallet. I don't know where I left it and blah, blah, blah. And she started crying. And then and my father, of course, uh, returned it, returned it. And this lady not even say thank you. And we were like, we didn't know that person. But sometimes people are really, really, they, they don't, they're not grateful at all, you know. And I remember because uh, I still remember this experience, how everything happened. Because at that age, when you are a kid, you found money, and then you're like, wow, you, I don't, you, the first thing you want to do is tell somebody, an, an adult, you know. And I remember that specific thing. And, but, and I also remember this lady didn't say a word of, of gratitude to my father, you know, and that makes you think that people actually they don't really care about others. They just want to, you know, uh, protect or care about themselves, you know. But then just that's something that happened. I just recall this. And uh, what about you guys? What will you do? Has this ever happened to you or never? Tell, talk to me, please. For example, um, two years ago, I found a wallet with money and I returned the money uh, uh, at my coworker. I felt so good to do this, this action. Exactly. You know, exactly, Giovanni. And when you do this, satisfaction, satisfying this sense of, of being someone who cares about others, who cares about others' feelings. You don't know if this person uh, is planning or has debt, he wants to pay loans. And, you know, there are many things, right, around. Imagine this. If you were maybe planning to pay some stuff with this money and then all of a sudden it's not, it's not there anymore. Like we have to be very empathetic, right? Like put into other people's shoes. And at the end, life is in charge of paying you back. So you're, um, you, there's a saying, I think it's, you receive or you what you what you saw something like that or what you plan is what you get like if you plant uh, apples you will you will get apples but if you plant i don't know hatred or you will get hatred right so basically it depends on that if you um see it that way do you guys believe in karma you think that exists yes, i do exist? the same yeah. same thing Okay, so if you are faithful, yeah. <laughs> see, so you know, lies will pay pay you back. So, well, guys, <laughs> thank you so much. Let's study. We have ten minutes. Let's study the structure. We have it on the next slide. Let's see. Uh, well, we let's see. We have one more. Wow, this is cool. I like this question because uh, we Salvadoran people, you know, sometimes we don't even need a phone, but we want to be. Uh, to the state of the art technology, right? You want, you see the latest iPhone, you want it. Maybe Angie is like that, or no, Angie? Why me? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> no, last time that I asked you to turn your cameras, wow, nice, nice, um, you know, resolution. I said, these people only no. iPhones, only iPhones. <laughs> okay, so what would you do? Imagine this scenario, guys. What would you do if you really, what would you really do? I'm sorry, if you Peter. found an expense. Uh-huh. Put off the cell phone. Turn off. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. 
a few years ago I lost my my wallet and at that point I understand how important is um, uh, when you lost your your documents um, sometimes it's not the money you have in your wallet is is the um, in the documents do you have in, in that in your wallet? And that point I understand how important is uh, do, uh, to have to return all that stuff and no matter if uh, if a, a cell phone, a wallet, money, anyway. And that's it. <laughs> oh, you're right. Just imagine time you're going to invest to get your ids your license drive uh your driving license uh your cards you know go to the bank this long process time money and wow and one of my friends like two months ago uh he lost his wallet he said to me hey you know what i didn't have much money on that wallet but what I really, really feel is that I have to start uh, from scratch. He, he will go to the city hall to ask for his documents, this, the birthday certificate, and all these, you know, uh, things that you have to do in order for, for you to, you know, um, recover all these documents. And I think what you're saying makes a lot of sense because sometimes we, you know, might have little money, but what it takes for you to get all your documents back, that's, you know, that's really hard. All right. Um, I don't know. I wanted to say something else, but I forgot. Anybody else who would like to give um, any opinion about this question or maybe any experience that you might have had on the same, um, on the same way? No, now iPhones cannot be stolen. I think even other phones, right? Because if you steal it, then they have find my iPhone or you can track where the phone is. And then all of a sudden you can call the police and go to, to you know, to, to the exact area where this the cell phone is and you can even capture or catch the thief. You know, now technology, you know, it's, it's really advanced and that helps. And if you um, maybe, get a phone which is really expensive is very likely to to be protected as well right and you can monitor you know this phone its location well so i would just return it now no complications let's see you can, block, it. You can block right they, they can block they can block it and you you won't be able to use it i think they can name it how how do you say this they can name it um i don't know this not even in spanish when they like they um you can erase they make it exactly like, something like that they wipe it out they erase mm -hmm. everything you cannot the phone cannot even connect to the network you know useless uh -huh. they can do that i don't know what there's a process that they do i don't remember the name exactly well we're going to finish today's section with this we have five minutes this is what I wanted to say. And I remember uh, there was one person who said if we can use another model, and this is the answer, okay? Uh, we have would, could, might, and wouldn't. Actually, we can also say uh, this in negative form. So not, not necessarily uh, would or, 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 or could, we can also say wouldn't and couldn't and all this negative form. Okay, so maybe, so we can finish this up. You can provide me with any other example. On your own, think about your own example. If I found an expensive phone, I will remove the chip. <laughs> yeah, but now removing the chip is not a guarantee you're going to be able to use it then. Now it's, it's different, but it's a good, it's a good one. Good example. All right, good idea. Anybody else? Maybe one more example, guys, before we finish this session. Use a different model, model verb, which is not would, use could, use might. Might is less, you know, it indicates less probability, you know. Its certainty is little, it's less than the other ones. So what would you tell me? One example.
I'll give you one minute for you to send it to a chat. Or maybe open your mic. With the second conditional teacher. Yeah, the same, the same here, uh, Melissa, same, but I just want you to use maybe could or might or wouldn't or couldn't. Okay. Okay, well, uh, I can see I have one more example. Thank you. I will sell it to the cell phone for my security. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I like that, maybe. Okay, uh, then guys, I want to finish this class by saying that, let's see another example. I might go to the concert with you. <laughs> okay, go to what Bonnie's concert. <laughs> Uh, well, unreal conditional would send it with if clauses, guys. Unreal conditional. We are talking about imaginary situations, okay? Um, even though this is something that it, it, it won't happen, but we use it a lot in our daily expressions or way of, of communicating with others, okay? So what would you do if you found $750,000? If I found $750,000, I will go straight to the mall to get many things, right? I will get a New York car. I could buy lots of nice uh, clothes and jewelry, or I might go to the police and I wouldn't return it so fast. These are the examples provided on the text. Uh, create your own ones and thank you so much let me just finish this class by reading your ideas on the chat if i found a cell phone i would wait for a call if and if nobody call i will keep it interesting that's a good perspective and then yeah it's a really good one but people they just turn it off so nobody can reach you right at any point. Guys, for me, it's a pleasure to be uh, sharing with you these topics. I like these topics. And so much for your participation. And I'll see you tomorrow. And if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask tomorrow in the class, in the live session, okay? Have a nice night and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.